Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here, back with some more EVE Online. And uh, what you're seeing right here in uh, in the station hangar at the moment is my Talos Tier 3 Battle Cruiser, uh, which is my current uh, live event ship, because I did lose my Hyperion in the battle for Kaldari Prime. Uh, but my uh, my corp mate Arvalis is actually going to build me a new one. Um, he's got a blueprint copy of the Hyperion. Um, and uh, he asks me just to get him the raw materials and then he built me a new one so I have a small uh, shopping list that I need to pick up in Dodixi um, in order to have all the materials that I can then contract to him and then uh, soon I'll be flying another Hyperion uh, in the live events for now it's it's uh, it's this Talos uh, which brings me to, to, to today's topic which is uh, the incoming nerf of uh, tier 3 battle cruisers so let me quickly jump into my transport ship. Um, I'll just take an Iteron Mark III. Um, yep, and, and head over to Dodixi. There should be plenty of room for the, the minerals that I still need. And in the meantime, we'll, we'll quickly go over the, the upcoming changes. Keep in mind, this is all still in development. So it's still subject to change. But uh, the wording in the dev post by CCP Rise uh, did seem to indicate uh, that, that this is the direction they're going to go uh, for a, a nerf of the tier 3 battle cruisers. Uh, before I get started on it, perhaps uh, I should quickly mention the reason why they are uh, they, they want to nerf the tier 3 battle cruisers, and that is they want to make them uh, more vulnerable to uh, probing, bombing, and tackle. So uh, I guess at the moment they are just a bit too fast um, for the amount of damage that they can project. Uh, and yeah, they, they, they want to do something about that. Now, I'm, I'm going to go over uh, some, uh, some of the changes on these tier 3 battlecruisers. To me, they don't seem all that drastic. So let's quickly start with the Oracle, um, which is the Amar one. Um, it has uh, increased align time and decreased scan resolution for its tracking and increased signature radius. So yeah, definitely uh, increased align time. That, that's going to hurt, hurt its mobility a bit. A decreased scan resolution for tracking uh, might not seem that important, but, but it is very important considering the uh, tracking enhancers nerf that is coming as well. Uh, that, that could indeed change the way battle cruiser fleets, tier 3 battle cruiser fleets will work. Um, and then increased signature radius, I think that they'll just make it uh, so that they're a bit more vulnerable uh, once they're tackled. Uh, the Naga will get uh, some increased agility, but then also uh, increased align time, uh, decreased scan resolution and increased signature radius again. So pretty much the same nerfs uh, to the Oracle and the Naga. Uh, moving on to the Talos. Um, we once again see the uh, increased align time, um, scan resolution and signature radius, but also increased mass by a, a pretty substantial amount, I'd say almost 10%. Uh, and the Tornado gets basically the same nerf as the Talos, so those two might be hit just a little bit harder because of the increased mass as well. Um, but overall, yeah, just some, some decreasing in their uh, align time, that's something all of them have in common. Uh, along with uh, the, the uh, decreased scan resolution for tracking and increased signature radius. It should make them a little bit more vulnerable um, and, and indeed for probing, bombing and tackle just decrease their mobility a little bit. Uh, so it's, it's going to be interesting. I don't feel that this is really a big nerf. Uh, if you fly uh, this solo or in small gangs, I, I, I think you'll hardly uh, feel these changes. Uh, but uh, I think they should also be seen in, in, in the light of, uh, of, of larger fleet fights uh, where align time and scan resolutions are very, very important. Uh, on top of that, uh, there's also going to be a 30% nerf to the tracking enhancers, uh, which indeed could hit um, the, uh, the tier 3 battlecruiser fleets uh, a second time. Uh, together with losing some mobility, uh, they could end up losing quite a bit of tracking. Uh, which I'd say is normal because they are, after all, very nimble battle cruisers with large guns on there. So, uh, yeah, th these are some interesting changes to the battle cruisers that are coming. Some general nerfs, something to keep in mind, uh, maybe also for the market part. Although I think since they're all getting hit across the board, um, unless they really fall down um, 
so badly that, that they're not viable anymore in fleet fights. I don't think this is going to have a major impact on the market. Uh, demand should be stable as, as I think these nerfs are not too extreme and that, uh, that the fleet doctrines are still pretty much viable for tier, tier 3 battle cruisers. Uh, but overall, yep, yeah, just keep in mind that the tier 3 battle cruisers are going to get some nerfs on their mobility and their tracking. Um, especially their scan resolution and uh, that all of this stuff is planned for the summer expansion anyways um, I'm only about five jumps aw um, away four jumps actually from the Dixie so I'm going to do my shopping and get working on my new Hyperion for the live events and I'll see you all next time